A new grocery store opened this week near 38th and Arlington in Indianapolis. The new Indy Fresh Market is filling such a desperate need in one of the biggest food deserts on the east side. Yeah, Fox 59's Jenny Dreisler visited the store and she took a deeper look at food deserts here in Indianapolis. Jenny, what was it like there today? Well, Dan and Beershell, some of the people that I talked to were nearly in tears that they were so happy about a new grocery store opening in an area that hasn't had easy access to food in years. And this side of town isn't alone. The Indianapolis Community Food Access Coalition says Indy is one of the worst cities in the country for food deserts. It's been the talk of the east side. I was so excited to see all these people in here to support. The opening of Indy Fresh Market off 38th and Sheridan. The locally black owned store saw more than 1,000 customers walk through the doors Wednesday. Many happy they don't have to travel for miles to get the food they need. This has been a food desert and it's another place where people, they don't have to go five or six miles or, or 10 or 15 miles to get food to eat. And I'm so glad to see a market. I am tired of running there all over this town looking for anything. This part of town, a notorious food desert. It's extremely important because people in communities like these uh, often go feeling like they're not being heard. It's not news that we needed a major grocery store in our community. So what exactly is a food desert? According to the Indianapolis Community Food Access Coalition, to be considered a food desert, more than a third of an urban population must live more than one mile from a grocery store. And in a rural space, more than a third of the population must live more than 10 miles. We looked at the USDA's interactive map that tracks access to grocery stores. And by that definition, Indianapolis has nearly 50 sections of town that qualify as a food desert. Everyone we talked to hopes this new store will help combat that. It's huge to shop in your neighborhood, spend your own money um, inside the community that's, and give back. So I think it's going to save people a lot of time and a lot of money. I think this is a godsend. It'll work. I think it'll work too. And I think it's great for the community. This is what we need more of. And we've got more information on food deserts on our website at fox59.com. Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News. Jenny,